What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Slick Fifty back with another episode. Talking about busting out these waves, how to train your crown. Uh, some people call it isolating your crown because you're concentrating that one area. You should be working that area regardless. You know, once you get good enough and you in your mirror, you should be hitting that crown every day. So I'm not going to talk about isolating the crown. What I am going to tell you, though, I'm going to show you what I use and give you a major tip to make your stuff still look good while you're training all of your waves. One, I like 360-style pomade. Whatever, focus, whatever. 360-style pomade, get it at Walmart. It's not thick. It's thick enough to hold your crown in place. For the rest of my head, I use um, Cold Label. Wave of scalp butter. Now, before I get doing any of that, all right, I always put some oil on my head, which I already did. I already brushed it in. First and foremost, even before I do that, we'll get you a nice hard brush and just brush your hair. Because I don't know if you got dandruff like I do. I have dandruff really bad, so I scratch my head clean. Like, make sure there ain't nothing in there for real. Then do it, because what happens is I see people who do this or they put a lot of palm in their hair and you just see the flakes. You may not see them in your mirror, but when you go outside and that sun hit, they'll tell everybody that sunlight is way different. It hits different than the light in your house. All right, so remember that, man. So go get you a decent hard brush, like a little Diane or something, if you can find them still. You know what I'm saying? Click that and do your thing. So what I do, I'm going to work it in with the um, medium, and then I'm going to go over it with a the soft. Then we're going to rag up, and then I'm going to put my stocking cap on, and we're going to be good to go. So we're just going to jump in this. So remember, take that hard brush. I already done it. I've already put some tea tree oil. You can use whatever oil you like. Just don't use avocado oil by itself. Avocado oil is meant to be used with something else, all right? So remember that as well. Avocado is really a ceiling. All right. So any other oil besides just avocado oil by itself. And I always say, put you don't. Well, if you don't want to put the oil, you don't got to. I recommend it because pomades are kind of harsh. Even though this is natural, it's not really do because how thick it is. It's not really doing that for your hair. So you want to, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and brush some oil in your hair, bro. Trust me. It's going to help you in the long run. So, we're going to start the crown first. Because that's where the most work is. So, you're going to need your mirror. This is what it looked like. It's not thick like. See? Melts real fast. It's not thick at all. Rinses out easy. But this is what I do. First, you brush your pattern. Make sure you already have brushed your hair and your hair is going the correct pattern. And you just go out. All right. I may use my hard brush again back here because my hair is kind of thick. If you remember, I cut it to a two. All right. Now, you don't want, if you have like a little. I don't know, call this like a little crease where your hair goes from. You brush out from. Don't put nothing in there because you the breakout or whatever the case may be. Just go out from your crown. All right, yeah, your crown I'm tripping. All right, you see that? That's how we want to do it. And keep going. Now you, I, I rotate my fingers was a lot to kind of loosen it up. But if this was marriage, you definitely wasn't going to be doing that. And don't worry about being thick in some spots. You're going to work it through. Don't worry about it. You're going to work it in when you get the brushing. So, not a big deal. 
Now we get it all. And this is what you want it to look like. And mind you, I'm not putting this all over my head. Just my crown. Just my crown. And if your hair is thick as mine, you may want to start brushing with the um, my bad. <laughs> I was looking at something. You might start one you might want to use a hard brush first to go to a medium, then a soft. I know you like, man, you put a whole lot of stick. Yeah, it's thick. You know what I'm saying? It's thick. That's a fact. But um it's gonna brush out. It's gonna brush out. And again, we're training the crown to lay in those in those angles. Alright. Me, my hair sticks up like alpha. And from the last time, remember I just cut my hair. I hadn't cut or even brushed my hair for almost a month and probably a week. <laughs> no, that wasn't gonna work like that. You get what I'm saying? Um so now I'm just retraining it. It looks good, but it's not laying like I know it should be laying down, even at a two. So now, get your hard brush or your medium brush and get to work, man. So, start where you normally know start at. As you can see, don't be afraid. This brush is going to make sure it get where it needs to be. See? see you can see the hole already. And this is really best, like if you're going to get in the shower, you want to do this before you get in the shower. Let that steam naturally do what it do. You know what I'm saying? It'll get all the way down to the scalp. See, now that burst got it in there, and I knew I was going to need this. stuff in the rest of my head which ain't gonna be a lot about this much maybe one more I love cold label it melts pretty quick it does its job you know what I'm saying and it's natural so yeah I'm gonna do one more and it melts really quick in your hand as you see man I need to buy some more. <laughs> but, um, that's how you train your crown, man. They throw a nice brush session on it. No, you go, and it'll tell on you. Like, you'll see hairs and stuff. You're like, what is that? You're going to notice is that your stuff ain't like it used to. One thing about pomades, it'll tell on you. It will tell on you. If you just starting out with waves and stuff, like, for instance, look. See all them little hairs and stuff? Them little hairs that's not long enough yet to blend in with the rest of your hair. Some of them need to be trained to lay down. So, when this is what we mean by elite. I'm, I look like I'm elite, but I'm not elite. You know. Before I stopped um, brushing my hair, bro, you would never saw them little hairs. Even after a month, I, I, I'm probably at three right now, and you would never have seen that. You would never seen that. So that's how I know. So we take the medium, Diane, and it's like a softy medium. It's not even a hard medium. You know what I'm saying? Or just a regular medium. Just it's a softy medium to help work it in, cause it's kind of thick. You feel me? Then um, 
I'm going to come with that softy, knock all that ugly stuff down. And we're going to rag up. Okay, I got my rag over there. My favorite rag. Everybody got a favorite rag. I know y'all like, you got 101 rags back here looking for them, you know. We, we, we got plenty of rags. <laughs> but, everybody got that favorite rag. Whether it's still, it got a hole in it, it just fits your head right, you feel me? So, I need to shape up, but that's not what this is about. This is about getting my ways back in order. You know what I mean? Again, we're going to hit that crown area too after we work this in. I'm going to slow down. Key to this for real, I know I'm rushing but to make the vid, but the key to this is to slow down though. Slow brushing is key. Especially when you try to get all your ways to line up. I'm just going to widen them out. It'll stuck on the pristine. And you'll notice slower brushing lays them down, see? But now we're going to hit the crown area again. Them streaks right here. See that streak right there? That shouldn't be there. So I know I'm not where I was. What y'all think? The boy still got it? Do I still got it? I don't know. We'll see. Now we fit here with the soft brush. Time with this medium. Boom, boom. Get that bass turtle. Blind. I love this brush, bro. By bass. I got it on TracyLauren.com. Good people. If y'all remember back in the day, I broke my, my clear one, man. The clear one was an eye catcher. Look how good this brush do, boy. I love this soft brush. And it's showing you that when you use all three brushes, hard, medium, and soft, man, look at this. Oh, my God. Look at that. We laid and made. Look. Look at that. Laid. Softy is what you tell you. That's this is your 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 should be your brush. You leave the house with. It's always gonna keep your hair laid, bro. All right, we're gonna leave it at that. Let me check my crown. See, missing some stuff right there. A little bit of big old mess up over curl. Always check your angles, bro. Don't just do this. Check your angles. That's why I be doing. Cause you can see your hair sticking up. You feel me? Anywhere. Side profile. You know what I'm saying? My swirl come. See that? There we go. We trying to get. I don't know if I can reach a point at it. Alright, him right here. And come on around in here. This little blank area. It's going to come up in here and connect here. And then we done. Shoot. I just need one more row of waves, baby. One more row. We good. You feel? Me? We good. I'm gonna run this 
again. Like I said, your go-to brush should always be a softy, bro. When you out in public, it's gonna keep your hair down. Medium hard gonna raise poof your hair out. Like if as if you combed it, you feel me? But that's how you isolate your your uh not isolate, but um train your crown, man. So it'll lay the way you want it to lay and train it to go the angles you're trying to go. You know what I'm saying? When I used to have a swirl, I used to do it like that. I used to paint it. You saw I was painting it with my fingers. I used to do it like a swirl, bro. I did. To train your hair. Because your hair is used to growing a certain way when it's coming out of your follicles, bro. It's not like it will just go the way you want it to go. See? We laid. Now... Put your wig cap on. Show y'all how I do my wig cap. Boom. And don't put it in my mouth. Pause. Mm -mm. It's simple. Just grab it and fix it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's nasty. They put the rope in their mouth. In their mouth. And you know you've been touching all that grease. You're not going to tell me your way caps are super clean. And people finna be faking like that, bro. All right. Sometimes I forget to wash my way caps. And they don't get washed for like a whole two, three weeks. You know what I'm saying? I wash mine by hand. You know what I'm saying? Then you just pull it down. You're going to tighten it. And loosen it. Tighten it back up. Boom, boom, boom. Here go the key. If you finna lay down... Or whatever the case may be. Don't fold it up beforehand. Fold it up afterwards. Like this. It's going to give you that extra. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Pull down. Now it's super tight. Pull this up. Like that. Like so. Boom. Pull it up. For those who, who weigh it can't be slipping. See that's going to stop it from slipping off your head. Okay. Now get your stocking cap. Make sure that line is, is where the crown is. You know what I'm saying? Pull it down. Get tight as you can. I roll mine. Some people flip it up. I right, roll it. Boom. There you go. So then if you get in the shower, that stain going to be, you know what I'm saying? And then it's going to melt it all down and it's going to look extra good. You hear me? So, of course, y'all not sticking around for that. But I do thank y'all for sticking through through the whole 18 minutes. This your boy Slick 50 back with another wavy Wednesday or Thursday. But it's Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Just know, you know what I'm saying? So. Don't forget to check out um, GMT if you ain't sold at the popping vinyl. And be sure to go check out the Wave, man, the Wave Gang merch in the store. The link is in the description. You know what I'm saying? We got two Wave shirts over there. We got more coming. So stay tuned, all right? Appreciate y'all. Y'all be easy. Deuces. I say I gotta give me some